Hey guys, I'm back. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of uh, how I uh, stained my my um, coveralls for my figure in the last couple videos that I've been making. I've had a lot of questions about it, and here we are. Um, I've been rehauling a second figure, and uh, yeah, these are the stock coveralls, and I'm going to show you guys a little demonstration. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of my heads. Uh, I haven't I haven't repainted this guy yet, but, uh, yeah, he's coming along good. But, um, okay, first off, let me just say this. Uh, first, you're going to want to start with just a, just a tad bit, just a little bit of cold water, okay? Now, make sure it's cold, and what you're going to want to do is, um, first off, here is, here's the stuff that I use. It, it's a, it's a bottle of green airbrush food coloring from um this this brand here is bakery craft i i'm pretty sure you can order it online but if not um really i think any airbrush food coloring would work so you can look up air airbrush food coloring but i just want to show you guys this kind because this is exactly what i use uh so and i'd feel bad if you guys would use something that that wasn't what I used and, and was expecting the same results out of it. So, um, as you can see, you definitely need gloves <laughs> during this. But right there, you can see how dark green this is. So, I, I'm guessing that any airbrush food coloring that's just regular green um, would be that dark. Okay, first off, what you do is, uh, like I said, put a little, little dab of uh, cold water in there. And, uh, now, this is going to be by your sight. You can keep it in or as long as for little or little as you want, really. Um, but I'm just going to do a demonstration here to show you what I did. So, first off, let's, you're going to want, oh, it would help if I open the bottle. Okay. Let's put a couple dabs in there, just like that. That's actually way too much, I think, but, uh, and you can just stir it up really, really good, just like that, and you see how dark that is? And then what we're going to do is simply put these in here. Now, I'm going to use a something to mix it up because my hands are dirty enough as it is, and I have a job where I need to work in the public, and I don't think they'd be too happy if I came into work like that. So, um, this is essentially all I did to get these coveralls like that. And you can just mix them up. Oh, it looks like I got a little, little paint back there, but that's no big deal. That will come off. But just really saturate the coveralls really good. Make sure that they get an even coverage just like that ah heck with it I'll just... okay now as you can see they're already getting stained but now the longer you keep these in here the darker they're going to get and you want them pretty dark for the H2 coveralls so I would definitely keep them in there for, you know, maybe two minutes or so, maybe not, I mean, it really, like I said, it goes off of your, uh, what you would prefer, and you could always stain them again if they're not, if they're not dark enough for you, but the main thing is making sure that you get these completely submerged, like, you could actually put more water in this than what I just did, but I was trying to, trying to make it so you could really see exactly what I'm doing now for the most part this is covered pretty good just flip it up and down a couple times there you go Got a little paint still on there, but like I said, that will come off. That will come out. That will come off. Okay. Um, 
but there you go, guys. Uh, yeah, that's uh, essentially what all I did to these things. And uh, um, I dried mine in, believe it or not, the toaster oven. You can let these air dry. Uh, I'm not sure if these will shrink or not. So uh, I kind of think mine did shrink a little bit when I when I dried them under heat, but um, in my opinion, it actually made the figure it made them fit a little snugger and made the the um, the pant legs on the coveralls actually come up just a tad bit more, which I really liked. Uh, so. Yeah, right now it still looks kind of a tad blue, but when these things dry, it will be dark. It will be dark green, like what you see on my hands here. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to show you um, something just quick on how to do it, and it's a really quick process. It doesn't take too much time on how to stain these things. So uh, there you guys go, and uh, thanks for watching my videos, and I hope this helps you guys. See you later.